Welcome to another little video on using Access, this time looking at how to set up a complicated query. I've got my little database of students who are pursuing some sort of course which has higher, intermediate and foundation tiers. What I'm interested in today is setting up a query which will find everybody doing the higher tier whose marks are less than half, less than 50% in their coursework because they probably need to do some APT. I've got my test data set here and I've got at least one person doing higher tier with less than 50% and one person doing higher tier with more than 50%. Perhaps I ought to have somebody who's doing exactly 50%. That's what we call an edge condition or boundary or uh, the sort of data that's going to test to see whether or not my query is really going to work. So I'm just going to add an additional student. On this particular database I don't have auto number IDs. Um, my test data set follows a kind of a pattern. So this guy's forename is going to be Eric and his surname is also going to begin with E and uh, let's make up a name that begins with E, Evans perhaps. Um, his mock exam mark can be pretty good and he's got exactly 50%. He's doing the higher tier. His postcode I don't care about at the moment. His teacher um, can be Mrs. Morgan. So that's enough data there to test the query that I'm going to create by clicking on create and finding uh, the possibility of a query. Uh, I'm going to go for query design rather than using a wizard. I need to add the table of students but not teachers at this stage so that's the only one I need. I need to expand that a bit so I can see all the fields. I'm going to want to display forename and surname. Uh, I'll need to display and also use the coursework score and I need to display and also use the tier. And I'm going to add in their teacher uh, because I might want to involve them in the discussion about why this student isn't getting more than 50%. So there are two criteria. The coursework score that we're looking for are people with less than 50%. So less than 50 on coursework score and the tier is higher. This might be tricky but we'll see how that works. It's put the quote marks in for me. Let's just first of all save this query um, all my queries need to have QRY prefixes at the beginning so that I know that they're queries. And this is higher tier less than 50% coursework. Because there's also a tracking of the mock exam score, so we need to make that clear. So there's my query, and if I just expand that we can see that the query name has been saved properly. Let's run the query and see what happens. And it only shows up Alan Archer, which is exactly what it should do, because the chap with exactly 50% shouldn't appear. We might just change that to 49, just as a double check. If I was doing this as uh, proper coursework, I would um, be recording all these tests and getting some evidence of that. Um, we've changed that, updated it. Let's go back to this and rerun uh, the query. Um, so I'll go back into design view and run it again. And this time they both crop up, including Eric Evans, 49, and Alan Archer, 35. I could give some thought to the sort order of the query, although in fact I would probably organize a report for all this. I'd go to create and work my way through the report wizard to give me a good-looking report. You should have done that in year 10, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on that at the moment. So to sum up, we've got a query in our system which picks up people for whom two conditions apply. Not only have they got less than 50% in their coursework, but they're also doing the higher tier. I've got a reason for doing that report and that's an important part of documenting what I've done here. Why have I done it? Who is going to use it? What are they going to use it for? They're going to use it to identify people who, although they're doing the higher tier, are having trouble with their coursework and may need help or just possibly extra work. 
I hope that's helpful. That's the end of this little video.